Um, today I'm not cooking anything. Well, I will cook something later, but I thought I would do something fun I thought the kids would like. Um, yes, I'm wearing one glove. Um, we are going to set up a mealworm um, breeding home. Um, if anybody doesn't know what a mealworm is, I know Chris Dingler does. You buy this at the store and they're filled with little mealworms. So I thought I would try this project because our mealworms have made bugs. They have hatched off and made these bugs. So I found this lady on YouTube which you can find everything on YouTube, everybody knows, on how to do this. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. I found my old potato salad, Tupperware. It's not even Tupperware. It's some kind of, yes, it, it is Rubbermaid. Okay. I poked holes in the top of it. She said that mealworms don't need, um, like, a bedding. Their bedding is their food, and they like oatmeal. And did you know... That when you buy oatmeal, there are already worms in it. Yeah, I did not know that. Why wouldn't I know that? Anyway, you can freeze your oatmeal. Or you can microwave. I read another thing about microwaving. So I microwaved these and I was waiting for them to get cool. They're cool enough now. So what you do is you spread your oatmeal which Ken would kill me if he knew I was feeding worms oatmeal right now. In the bottom of your Tupperware, you take your bugs. I'm wearing worm uh, gloves. Chris is probably going to laugh at me, but I know these things don't bite, but I just don't want to touch them. Ew. And you get, oh, I should have put on two gloves. And you put them in the oatmeal. Oh my word. This is disgusting. <laughs> they cling to you. This is going to take me longer than I thought. So probably what I will do to make this a little shorter. Is. <laughs> I will pick these out. Um, more later. And I will just use the ones I have. Because I don't want, you don't want any of these dead bugs or droppings in there. Which these bugs are, they just hatched in their own stuff and we never, I mean, I think Eli put potatoes in there or something. I don't know. Anyway, oatmeals they love. So then what you do is, you put apple. an apple or you can use a potato or a banana peel for, because that's what they get their, um, their liquids off of that and these poor guys are probably starving I don't know they probably have been eating each other do you see them already getting a bite of the apple can you see this one right here they're actually already eating the apple so I will let you know how this works out we'll keep you informed to see if they lay any larvae. And I figured, if nothing else, this is self-sustaining. Millworms have a lot of protein in them. Later.